I'm all about bringing y'all good content, man, and, and motivation and, you know, keys to success. That's what this channel's all about. It ain't just about me. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the process. So, uh, I'm back from Atlanta. I don't let my hair down, as you can see. <laughs> but I enjoyed myself down there at the Rick Ross Car Show, man. I hope y'all went and watched my videos I put up. I put up probably about two or three of them, something like that. But man, it was a great time. So much motivation down there. So many good vibes. I watched all them beautiful cars and all those, like Rick Ross say, all them hustlers. You know what I'm saying? So just coming home from being around all that kind of positivity really did something to me. So, uh, I'm ready to make a few moves, man. I'm going to bring y'all along as I do this. Got the elk on the background. So, I mean, you know, you see it's been sitting here just uh, as it sits. But I had to put a pause on this because I want to make a different investment. Because if y'all remember, if you've been following my page since the very beginning, or at least the beginning of this build, I told y'all all my plans. I plan on doing a... A whole overhaul for the most part man got my ls 5.3 sitting right here but um this is gonna probably be a 20 or thirty thousand dollar investment when i get all through with this so i feel like for now i want to kind of invest in myself a little bit first to give me some more income coming in so that's what this video finna be about finna bring y'all along as i make this investment to start my business I want to do some uh, car transportation, car hauling, you know, truck driving, something like that. So, I'm going to keep this video somewhat short, man. But we're going to go ahead and jump into this right away. So, uh, let's go along for this ride. Let's get to it. Yeah, man, I get back from Atlanta and get right back to business. I'm going to show you boys how to make a business move. Invest in yourself. For to start me a business man, car transporting, car hauling. So I'm gonna have some new content coming to my channel, man. Make sure y'all boys stay locked in. Gonna put me a plate on right now as we speak, my baby. Money everywhere. Let's get to it. Got a nice truck too. That's what I'm here for, though, my baby. Got that three car hauler. Profit hauling logistics, my baby, on the way. Like I said, if you ain't investing in yourself, what you doing? Stay locked in, man. I'm gonna put this content out, show you how to gain, and keep y'all motivated, man. That's what I'm on. It's the process. Keep it going. <laughs> he over here counting that money. <laughs> and streets. Paying for the boat, you know? Yeah. Yeah, Bob. All right, so here we go. Your boy done made an investment. You know, you got to invest in yourself, man. If you don't invest in yourself, then what you doing? Got me a good... Hoffman, <laughs> this is how you say it. Three car trailer, 2018 model. Work pretty clean. Ready to work. Got good tires on it already. Yes, sir. So, if y'all don't know, man, if you want to get into the trucking industry, you know, there's many ways to go about it, different avenues, but car hauling is definitely one you know with a smaller investment versus going full semi with this drive van right here of course you know that's that's gonna be guaranteed good money man but you're gonna have a big overhead you know the semi and the, the trailer alone gonna run you some money man i've been seeing them for sale a little more often now because the trucking industry kind of going through what it's going through as far as some of the uh 
you know, some of these costs they uh, ain't paying what they used to pay. Freight fees and stuff is going down, so guys starting to get away from it a little bit, but to get a truck, you're probably gonna spend about 40 or 50 grand, and the trailers be about 20, 30 grand, but you can make good money. Same thing with this. So, of course, my next move is to find me a truck. I want this same setup, basically. But we'll see how I play it. So, again, my channel is all about showing the process. Regardless of whatever it is, man. Building you an old school or, for me, starting a business now. Car hauling. Hopefully, I get y'all to engage in this process. And I can show y'all, you know, everything I learn as I go, basically. On how this is going to play out. So make sure y'all stay locked in with me, man. I'm all about bringing y'all. I'm all about bringing y'all good content, man, and, and motivation, and you know, keys to success. That's what this channel is all about. It ain't just about me. So I'm getting everything loaded up. This trailer came with. Uh, a fifth wheel attachment. Yes, you can do either a gooseneck or a fifth wheel attachment. So I pulled the fifth wheel off just to make sure nobody tried to come over here and snatch my trailer, man. I came with a new tire too. Spare tire. The ramps. So that's that. Let me show y'all this. This is what this is one of the things that kind of tickled me when I first started doing my research on how you uh, you know get into the car hauling thing and a lot of guys run the gooseneck which is just basically like a like a trailer hitch like what normally goes down there it'd be a trailer hitch in the center of the bed right where that plug is in the middle of this this is the fifth wheel like a semi would have but you can get a fifth wheel attached to your bed like how this is it's actually brand new. He wants to sell that too. So if I don't find a truck that already has one, I'm coming to buy that as well. But uh, yeah, from what I've been hearing, a fifth wheel is the best way to go to get you a more secure attachment. And it's more secure when you, you know, when you haul and making your turns. So it's the better setup. So we gonna make sure I try to find me one with that fifth wheel, or if not, give me one installed. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited, man. I ain't gonna lie, I was a little nervous. I had to put the El Camino build on pause. Get this back over here. I put the Elco on pause for a minute so I can make a more wiser investment. Because honestly, if y'all been following my channel from the get go, I already said I was gonna probably invest about 20 or 30 grand to that El Camino, you know. But that's that's all good, man. That's this pleasure, you know what I mean? That's like a I don't want to say it's a hobby, man. It's gonna always be a good investment because old schools maintain their value these days. But I feel like starting me a business, it's gonna be bigger and a better, you know, avenue to making me 20, 30 grand easily, man. I can do two, three, four bills. I ain't working for myself. You feel me? So this video ain't gonna be too long. I'm just gonna continue my little walk around. Check everything out. Got new brakes on it. My biggest thing was making sure I didn't buy no rust bucket. Axles look good. This guy was a foreigner, so he out the country right now. Something something happened. He might have got deported, man. I don't know. Something might have happened, so he. His family had to come get rid of this, so it's been sitting since last, for almost, almost a, I don't know, a good six months, they just told me, sitting here, missing out on making money. But don't worry, profit on it, no, man, that's what I'm all about. So yeah, like I said, I got my business on the way, profit hauling logistics, Make sure y'all stay tuned in to watch this whole process. Getting everything, getting the truck, getting this hooked up, getting my MC and uh, 
I forgot the other one, getting all my paperwork together to get the company going. So yeah, of course this is step one. All right, so I'm down here at the Secretary of State of Michigan, which to some of y'all is the DMV. I can't even do my title transfer and to get my plate for the trailer. So we good with that. As you can see, E-Profit Productions. And man, they did tax me too. I even lowered what I paid for the trailer, but still it was $425 for the total transfer fees. But man, it's the cost of operating, you know? But got that part of the process done. So we are good to go with that. And I even was able to secure me a spot in the same storage yard where this trailer was already at. Which is a good thing because it's hard to find storage yards, storage yards out here around my area. And uh, the good thing about this is right across the street from the Secretary of State. Which is down here where this black uh, dump truck is over there. And this actually is about a couple of miles from where I live. So you can't beat that man. I'd be able to store my truck and trailer a few miles from my house. So, everything working out good. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wrap this video up soon. So again, thank y'all for following my process. Please subscribe to this channel, like this video, share all that YouTube stuff. Y'all already know, baby. Okay, wait, wait, before I end this video. Now y'all know I gotta keep me a red cup in all my videos, man. So before I wrap this up, we're gonna have a quick drink to me starting my business. You know what I mean? And I appreciate y'all for joining me along this process. I'm on my new venture. Got that business name right there, man. E Profit Productions. I got my title in my hand. Time to get this show on the road. So this is to my process. Now we can get to it, baby. <laughs>